Well, they asked me if I had seen or noticed anything unusual in my neighborhood. And had you? And absolutely. Bob doesn't want to show his face as he discusses suspicious activity linked to a multi-billion dollar scam. It starts with the theft of social security numbers belonging to residents of Puerto Rico. It ends with major theft from the U.S. Treasury. Puerto Ricans generally do not file federal income tax returns, but Puerto Ricans are issued social security numbers. And so the fraudsters will steal the social security numbers, dates of birth, names of Puerto Rican residents, and bring them up here to the United States to file for federal income tax return checks. The con men direct the IRS to send the refund checks to an address of someone they know or to easily accessible mailboxes like the one at Bob's house. This came to my house and I had no idea who it was for. And what I did was I wrote return to sender on it right here. And I took it down to the post office and I thought it was strange because it was September. And Inspectors say Bob did the right thing. We've interdicted billions of dollars worth of fraudulent income tax return checks. Inspectors say they have done surveillance, controlled deliveries, and undercover sting operations to arrest people in this scheme. We want our postal customers to inform us if they've received such type of checks in their mailbox. 